Israelis around the country have expressed shock over the fact that Hamas had capacity to carry out such a dramatic and deadly massacre. But new reports from the Wall Street Journal are indicating that the Palestinian terror group didn't act alone. The Wall Street Journal has released a bombshell report detailing involvement of the Islamic Republic of Iran in plotting and executing the deadly massacre carried out by the Hamas, in which over 800 Israelis were killed and over 100 kidnapped. The report proves that the Iranian security officials helped plan the attack on Israel and have been working on it together since August. Last Monday in Beirut, it was the Islamic Republic which gave Hamas the green light for the massacre carried out against civilians in Israel. Until now, the U.S. stated that they did not believe Iran was involved in these attacks, despite the fact that Hamas officials have openly stated otherwise. On social media, the Ayatollah tweeted threats to annihilate the state of Israel last week, and the account of the IRGC also tweeted thinly valid threats on the day of the attack, which stated, We told you we would come for you. Hamas has also publicly acknowledged that they have received support from the Islamic Republic and senior officials met with the Ayatollah on Sunday. In the hours following the attack, the Iranian regime passed out sweets in the streets of Tehran and openly applauded the operation they called self-defense. Islamic Republic President Raisi praised the victory of Hamas. It is a manifestation of resistance standing up against the fake Zionist regime, the Palestinian people, the Palestinian soldiers and the Palestinian groups and the Islamic Ummah really should be congratulated for this victory. While some Hamas officials have confirmed Iran's involvement, after the news began to surface, other Hamas officials stressed out the Wall Street Journal that the operation was Palestinian, not Iranian.